Check, 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 check. Checking in, checking in, checking in, checking in. All right, quick and fast, quick and fast. We have um, a quick video. I wanted to do a quick video on um, an article I just came across um, on the Jamaica, Jamaica Gleaner. Yeah. I just came across an article on the Jamaica Gleaner platform. I think they removed the article because of the um, backlash that they were receiving, that the Gleaner was receiving, the, or the article or the post was receiving. But um, there are other outlets like Yard, Yard, Yard Hype. They have the same article, and other um, other platforms. Zin. So the article basically um, was in regards to a 14-year-old giving birth to twins on Christmas Day at the Jubilee Hospital. That basically was the article. Yeah? Um, I'm not sure if that is, if, if, if one of the persons in the video is actually one of our member of parliament, but you can confirm that, but it seems to be a member of parliament in the picture, in the celebration of a 14 year old girl giving birth on Christmas day. Zane, a 14 year old, that basically made the news, made the headline that was posted in a celebratory manner. So we are now celebrating teenage pregnancy in Jamaica. We are now celebrating statutory rape in Jamaica. You see? If this is actually the member of parliament in this photograph that I'm looking at, I'm not gonna show it, because I'm not gonna join in the celebration or help to proliferate this crime via images. But if this is indeed the, minute, the member of parliament from the Jamaica Labour Party, I think this member of parliament must come out and apologize to the people and explain to the people why she was there with all smiles. Why was this not treated as a crime? Why was this, this not investigated? Why Sisoka um, did not get this case? Or why was this case not turned over to Sisoka? Remember in Jamaica, in some states in America, you have the Romeo and Juliet law, which states, um, which, um, which gives a little bit of leniency or, or do not bring charges against a minor and minor um, relationship or intercourse. So if two minors have intercourse in some states, um, you know, there's a Romeo and Juliet law that they do not, um, they are not criminally charged. Or if, 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 if either is criminally charged, it's a more minor offense. But that is not the case in Jamaica. In Jamaica, no child under the age of 16 can give consent to sex. No child under the age of 16 can give consent to sex in Jamaica. So you would think that the Jamaica Glean and Yard Hype and all these outlets that um, are sharing or distributing or are, 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 are spreading this celebrate the celebration of a 14 year old giving birth on Christmas Day. You would think they would at least know better that this is actually a crime and this is not something. This is not the way how you report on a crime. You don't report on a crime. And the article states 14 year old gives birth to twins and Christmas at Jubilee Hospital, Kingston. Christmas wishes and jubilant cheers. This is what the article says, and this um, was actually posted on one of the most prominent, or one of the more prominent outlet, media outlets in Jamaica, the Jamaica Gleaner. 
you would think that the, the, the editor at the Jamaica Gleaner would know better than carrying or, or sharing this or posting this or broadcasting this or whatever you want to call it or publishing this. Just imagine these words. Christmas wishes and jubilant cheers were bestowed upon a 14-year-old mother who gave birth to twin boys on Christmas Day at the Victoria Jubilee Hospital in Kingston. You hear that? Christmas wishes and jubilant cheers were bestowed upon a 14-year-old mother. This is the height zim, of sensationalism. That is actually the intro coming from these media outlets. Christmas wishes and jubilant cheers for it. <laughs> what? Speaking with the gleaner, the minor name withheld. So they, 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 this is. Okay, so this is actually, the, the, so the other hype actually grabbed the Gleaner's report. So the Gleaner deleted everything, but too late, editor, people are journalists, grab your information or your post or your, or your report. So notice what this says, Gleaner, even though you scrub your page. It says, speaking with the Gleaner, the minor, name with her, mentioned that she was scared when she initially found out about her unexpected pregnancy and that her parents were also disappointed as well. However, she was glad to have her parents' support, especially her, from her mother, throughout this difficult time and vowed to make the best of the situation. And she did not want to get an abortion and return to school when ill. Well, nothing is wrong with the mother giving support. Nothing is wrong with the family rallying around her. But this is not something we are broadcast in other sense here, in other light here. This is not something we are broadcast and normalize it. You see? We understand the whole symbolic, you know, connotation to this still. Because, of course, the Virgin Mary had a baby boy and she was about 13, 14 as well. So, you know, we know how. You know, people, society may be thinking that, you know, we're going to get the next miracle child. So, you know, God has his way of, of doing things. But at the same time, you have to remember, say, it's a crime. You see? This, this, was, was a, this, this is a crime against the minor. So it's a from my mother, find out I'm pregnant, she always be around me. She no rough me and she no do where she nothing do. She always there around me and she stay by my side, she stated. The teenage mother said that she knows she is disappointed, her parents, but that she will work hard to regain any lost trust and also be the best mother she can be to her twins. Going back to school to make her parents proud would be one of her top priorities. The mother of the twins who were born prematurely. Now this is what happens when a 14 year old, you know, gets pregnant. This, 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 this is one of the complications that a 14 year old or a child can experience because the body is not fully developed to the point of giving birth as yet or, or, getting preg or for her to get pregnant. Gave birth almost two hours into Christmas morning. Her sons were born about three months early, as she was expected to give birth sometime in March next year. This particular birth has caused a stir because of her teenage mom status. But help will be provided by the Ministry of Health Teen Clinic. A cause for concern was also raised upon the reveal that the mother was under the lawful age of consent.
So CPFSA. They know about this. So you think that an investigation would have been ongoing? It would be an ongoing investigation, excuse me, to determine who the father is and possible press charges. Or if the parents do not want to cooperate, you do not give them any platform to share their ju jubilation, to share their their, 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 their their celebration with the world. You let them go and you know bless them and wish them well. It's not something where you come out and post and act as if this is normal. This is supposed to be an investigation. A point was raised that there was disharmony between the age of transition to adult childhood. So they, they're contemplating age of consent in, 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 the, in the government. Gage, Gage Gray said that although children is a joyous occasion, hospitals have the responsibility to re report cases such as these where the mother does not meet the age of consent to the center of the investigation of sexual offenses and child abuse in Sissoka. It is still unclear if this was reported. Well, obviously, even if this was reported, obviously the media run with the story, throw the story out there while an investigation is going on, or if there's no investigation going on, it's irresponsible any way you look at it. Because what should have happened in this situation? After um, the mother um, um, you know, gave birth, you know, then there's supposed to be a DNA test. You see? After giving birth, there should be some form of plan or whatever it is. Because remember, she's a minor, you know. She's still not at the age of consent. So even the parents, if the parents then reject any form of investigation, that's negligence on their part. So, so for this report, for this situation, for Gage Gray to be unclear if this is, you know, if this was reported to Sissoka, it, it show you how backward our system is. It? it show you our system is, is, is so lacking that we don't know if a 14 year old that gave birth to, 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 to twins. We don't know if this case was reported to the government. It is very, it, Gage said it is very important for parents to support their children, especially for a young girl like for a young girl like that. If she is in need of national of additional support, the social work unit and the hospital will contact us. At the, in, in the um, in the Glena, it says um, the girl claim um, her claim is it was a it was a a, a schoolboy who got her pregnant. That 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 is what the um, the Gleaner article stated before they removed it. You see. But how do you confirm? How do you confirm if this was a, actually a child who got her pregnant? And even if it's a child that got her pregnant, it is still a crime. You see? The system or the, or the, ju the justice system would have to decide how they're going to deal with such situation. Because it is a crime. It is not something that you post and talk about any form of jubilation and adding something there. I know they're celebrating this 14-year-old giving birth. 14? In our country. And you know what? The, the, the comments, the comments 
I was reading some of the comments this morning and, and, and grown women were normalizing this because they got pregnant at 14 and 15. You see? They got pregnant at 14 and 15, so it's okay for a 14-year-old girl to get pregnant. Now you realize what kind of society we live in. For one of our national papers to broadcast something like this, to put forward something like this, with no mention of an investigation, an, an ongoing investigation, this should be turned over. The Blina company or whosoever the reporter was or whatever the situation was. This is not something that you go on. This is not a feel-good story. This is in no way, shape, or form a feel-good story where you're going out there um, celebrating a 14-year-old giving birth. This is not a feel-good story. Who, who is feeling good about this? Who is feeling good about this? This is supposed to be an inspirational story. Are we going to say, oh, she planned to go back to school, so... It's an inspirational story. That's the reason why we have, you know, all of this unwanted children in Jamaica. That's the reason why we have an unstable society. You see? You know, difficult it is for a woman to take care of one child. Much more a 14 year old to give to give her, her attention all her life. Dedicate all her life to taking care of two children. We're talking about a feel good story. We're talking about they were, you know, excited. But you know. Yeah, we're excited that she did not die during the process because that was that was a possibility for when 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 um, whenever a, a, a woman or a child you know get 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 pregnant so early, there's always the possibility of that. So of course, yeah, you give thanks to life. Yeah, the, ch the children them survive. Yeah, you give thanks to that. But that is not supposed to be posted as a a celebration or a feel good story. This is supposed to send a message. The what we sh what report should have come out from this is Sissoka putting out a report that such and such was arrested and an investigation done to see if this little girl is telling the truth. Because a lot of little girls, a lot of these little girls, they will lie or try to cover up to protect their predator. Understand that they know if they call the persons who are involved in their situation or in their pregnancy. They know that that person may go to prison. And sometimes these little girls try to protect these grown men by lying to the parents and telling the parents that, oh, is a little boy got her pregnant. The same thing happened with, with, with Vibes Cartel's son. Vibes Cartel's son, it was all over the media and people were tearing down. You know, people were actually attacking Vibes Cartel and saying, oh, and attacking the little boy. You see the double standard in our society? When Vice Carter's son was reported that Vice Carter's son got a girl pregnant, there was such an, there was such an outrage of him getting a girl pregnant. But now we're trying to glorify or normalize it, no? Now we're trying to celebrate because the baby was born on Christmas Day is another miracle child. Look at the, 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 the whole uproar when Vice Carter's son name was called. And he was a minor. And then it turned out that it was not him. It was not him who got her pregnant. So who got her pregnant? Too late to investigate now. Will she cooperate? She's not, she's not going to cooperate. A lot of these parents too, they cover up for grown men who get, who, 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 um, who are involved in, 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 in this type of situation. A lot of these women and a lot of these parents and family members, because they can't get a thing from the big man who get them daughter pregnant. They make up the lie with her. They actually, oh, we're going to make it come in the paper, but they're going to say that's fool boy, get you pregnant. So that even is even, you know, more reason 
Farsi Soka to investigate it. She said, the little girl is claiming that a little boy got her pregnant. Then, then invest the baby, do a DNA test. Who is the little boy? Call him in, I do a DNA test. You see? It's not something that you post out there and, and celebrate this, this situation. This is not something that you sensationalize. It's, a, it's just a bad tone, a bad message, the way you're trying to share the message to the world. This is actually rape. This is a crime. It's not something that you, you, you post with the minister, with what seems to be the minister in the, in the photo all smiles. The minister should be asking questions. The minister should be calling for an investigation. You see? This is setting a bad precedent. This is a bad look. If this is indeed the minister, the minister must come out and apologize or explain why she was in that photo, all smile, when there's supposed to be an investigation going on on this situation. What are we promoting? Teenage pregnancy? That is what we're promoting? We're promoting a feel-good story now for a teen teenage pregnancy? Are you kidding me? Do not sweep this under the rug, people. Demand that the minister come and explain why she was in this photo, popping big smiles, and not putting out something, asking for an investigation for this crime. This is a crime. All right? Big up on yourself. Have a great day. One love. Remember to share and, and like the, um, the video so we can, um, what do you call it? We can kick, up, kick off the algorithm. It's, it's actually working. Last video was posted at 58,000 views. So these short videos, we're just going to use them and trigger about the algorithm. So we can reason in peace without Facebook putting us in prison for eternity. All right, enjoy the day. Hope you have a happy holiday. Continue to have a happy holiday season. All right, big up on yourself. And of course, um, new music coming out in January. We're going the Afro route. So um, I'll give you a taste of, the, of this upcoming single. It's called um, Bright Future with Yemi Aladay from um, Africa. Don't know why this damn thing is not happening, but since it's not happening, next time we'll play. All right, big up on yourself. Out. Oh.